so now we will proceed with this part so if I go back to the maquette or the, to the template we see that we have um, a full width block with some text a link an image okay as a background I guess uh, then okay this is another block later okay so back to my home page and I see that this block is already there but we need to change it actually there is another modules hooked here and again if you are confused or you lost which model is hooked here you only or simply go to model position then you launch the or run live edit and this tool will show you all the hooked models and its names position etc so as we saw here it's a theme configurator so back to back office then uh, we need to go to actually i'm on it now but you can go just model and service click right there and we need to look for that name a theme configurator so theme configurator there you go and we found a lot of options settings actually so display link to your store social account and okay i'll let you discover what all this does or what all these do uh nothing really big just some setup for the for all the blocks and all the elements that can be showed right here this is the social block the um what is called i guess it's um this uh, this carrier or staff or something this is another custom block image and so on but the important for us is to set up it that and change it that we can get this result so firstly we need to get rid of all this uh for this uh, test content that generated by prestashop so i will simply do edit and okay let's keep this for later use and let's remove this guy okay let's refresh uh, normally we have only one uh one block one image left also we need to hide these ones we don't need them to so back up to the setting uh, block display uh, social media i don't like display contact information sharing display facebook block no uh custom cms block which is this one actually uh display quick view window blah 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 no display top banner no uh, display logo of available payment methods no display life configurator only you can see this in front of you if it's not okay so okay, let's keep this for maybe later use uh, display subcategories subcategories where is this um, so this is categories subcategories okay let's give it keep it uh, set the two yes okay we are prepared to go so now I will pause the video for like a bit of while that you can get this image out of uh, the, the template and I'll be back so I created or let's say I cropped the image out of the template and let's proceed with our tutorial and trying to set it so you get the idea it will be like a background image for this block. Again back to the back of this and we go to dot block here, hit edit as you right there. Then we can change the title, image, link. We don't need any link actually. So I cancel that then. We have a very useful part which is optional HTML that we will it will be our playing ground so I will type some uh, HTML code right there save I think it's some sort of configuration inside the editor of this block that truncates and remove all the ahrefs again okay. so all the block is clickable that's why uh, it, does, it does refuse okay that makes sense so as you see it, all this block is actually a link so uh, wherever I click it, it will take me to the link okay so I replaced the old image with or uh, by the new one and I guess we still not there really because in the template this block is a hundred percent width it's full width but in our case it's only um, it's only let's say it's a, it's a one of four or one of three of the full width so to do that now we need to give up the back office and move into the ID to change 
some setup inside the theme the the folder itself oh sorry the module itself so now we're targeting the theme configurator model then we need to change some setup some configuration inside whether the hook or life configurator so it, it would be the hook and again if i scroll a bit up i see that i am under the model folder and again another let me remind you again we don't touch the default uh, default core file so I need to copy this and back to theme to theme folder and models let's look for theme configurator it's there so let's check whether I'm in the right place yes okay then theme configurator and we see that we don't have um, we don't have the theme uh, let's say the template file that's why I copy it and uh, I just need to paste it there copy where is paste yeah this is it hook then I open it and we have some some stuff to change right here so as we see here yeah, there is some conditions if hook left or right then use the full width block call x12 xs12 else use call xs4 which is not the case for me i would like to that the block will be at uh, 12 columns at 100 pixel 100 percent sorry and normally we will go would we'll be good to go except that the image is not again as we'd like to have it so what we can do to fix that is add a class into um, the whole container of this block then we will start working so the main idea or the main target is to make this image at full width uh, comparing to the parent so if you ul we have theme conf then i will just target the image first of all like um width to be 100 percent okay it's a bit pixelated but okay not big deal again we know we're not looking for perfection um sorry for keep saying that but i would i don't want really to make the tutorial two hours big two hours long sorry okay so we need to save this into global.css or again we can walk keep it things clean model theme configurator we don't have it so we can work with the global CSS uh, okay paste that one there and now I need to assign a, an ID to this block so that we can play with it around and can place it right there up okay so another rule to add it is to have this theme conf and position of relative because it will contain an absolute uh, element okay back to the back office then uh, we hit edit change this block to something else oh actually assign an id that's simple okay so we're good to go with our container let's say with again firstly position absolute will be top zero so it's actually a bit up there is it then the width i give like um 50 percent or less 40 look good margin all all i say just simply type left like five percent mm, okay let's back to the market say if you mm, 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 okay so it's a bit to the left like three percent will be good then we can change no background nothing big nothing special okay um, from the top i guess we need to give it a bit more like okay i already defined that so it would be five picks five percent okay let's save this then font weight we don't need it to, def to change this actually okay let's move to the h2 H oops what's wrong yeah sorry for that h2 oh so it's a bit bold then uppercase okay okay so phone width will be bold text transform 
uppercase okay uh, I think it's also a bit margin uh, okay we can keep the margin well let's say let's give it a margin of um, 10 pixels zero all right that was a bad idea okay 20 is good uh, then now we can we need to set up this down um, some sort of uh, border uh, actually it's not a border it will be the after attribute okay well, one more thing is to say this is relative Position relative. Okay, then uh, after content will be nothing. The width, like uh, let's pick 80 pixel. The height, like 5 pixel. Position absolute. Background red, for instance. Top um, 15% or maybe more. Okay, let's set it left zero or maybe a bit minus 20 pixel on um, the background is not that red so we can pick the background color itself but make it a bit more aggressive I guess because it's not that clear background okay the width is a bit more than 80 the height is less than 5 and okay like we can say that it's good for the moment save this what's left okay so we see that we have a um, color 2017 back to back office and we need to assign a span for that uh, so why is mine because it's an online attribute uh, online element if you can if because if i do p or div or whatsoever so we, we will really suffer we need to add it more um more content to adjust it but a span is directly on the right place and easy to target so i truncate the video because all the work was just css and uh, i do want to make the video long uh just finish the blocks and everything look okay see you in the next one